This is Dr. Sunny with a walkthrough tutorial for how to best navigate our course so that you can be successful. When you first log into the course, what you're going to see is our course homepage. You'll note that at the top I've added recent announcements so that all announcements that I send to the class will be readily available to you and you don't miss one. You'll note that the first one asks you to make a reply and just let me know that you're reading this. And this is how you will comment on all announcements if, say, you had a specific question about an announcement or you just wanted to contribute something. I'm clicking this left menu bar here to come back to the home page. Now one of the things that you'll notice about the left menu bar is this is customizable in Canvas. And you'll note that I do not have assignments or discussions available individually to you. That is because, as you will read about on this course home page, I want you to always be navigating our course through modules. You will have a to-do list over here and that can be helpful, but often things on your to-do list are not chronological as you should complete them in the course. So it's always best to click on modules. You can also see that you can see all of the announcements as well as the syllabus and your grades and we'll discuss those here in a moment. So on the course homepage, I have given you shortcuts to our main course communication tools. First, reports. This is if you have a personal issue that you need to document with me, documentation of an official excused absence, or perhaps a learning disability accommodation. There's also a link to our FAQ. This is where you'll post all questions that aren't personal. So if you have a question about the class, a question about the assignments, a question about when something is due. There's one more option, which is if you find a mistake, you can report that here under Find and Edit, and you can also get extra credit. Once you come to the bottom of this page, it'll link you to the modules. Remember, you can always find the modules by clicking here under modules as well. Now the first thing that you'll see when you load the modules is the toolbox module and again you have those main course communications available for easy reference for you. I've also added a list of common issues and questions in the class for your easy reference once you're working here in modules. For example, you'll be asked in this first module and subsequent modules to record a media comment for a discussion. And if you click through to that, that will take you to the Canvas guide on how to complete that activity. So if we go back to modules, one little hint that I'll suggest to you is notice you can toggle these modules open and close. So if you need help from the toolbox, you can open it up, but if that's not something you immediately need, you can close that. Now note that there are prerequisites for all of our modules. So for example, the beginning module, the prerequisite is that you look at the toolbox. That means you're going to look through every item in the toolbox and make sure that you understand that that resource is available to you. And you can do this quickly and easily, making sure that you don't miss anything by clicking through using the next button. Note that for each of these first three communication tools, reports, FAQ, and find and edit, you'll be asked to reply and make sure that I know that you know where to pose different types of course communications. So for example, on this one, you'll just let me know you know where to post course issues. And you'll keep moving through the toolbox and looking at each of these resources that are available to you. Once you've covered all of those items in the toolbox and reviewed them, that will allow you to unlock the beginning module. I've tried to include dates for our course in each of these modules, but please remember that these dates are only guidelines. And given that we're an online course and there are a few exceptions for turning in work late, you will want to work ahead and engage in really good time management so that you're never completing work on the day that it's due. So the first item in this beginning module is to introduce yourself to the class. There are instructions um, on how to do this in the toolbox because you are going to be asked to record 
a video using the Canvas Record Upload Media tool. And this is really straightforward. Um, you will come in here and make sure that, you know, my example here is blue, but that we can see and hear you. You'll click Start Recording, and it'll give you a brief countdown. And then you will record yourself and click Finish and Save. And then it will have the media comment for you as you've saved it in this. The next item in this beginning module is something that you are going to see in all modules, and that is a lesson plan. This lets you know what your learning objectives are, what the required readings are, and you'll note that I've tried to hyperlink these. As you've read in the syllabus, our textbooks are both free and online, and in most cases you can access these from not just your laptop or desktop, but also from a smartphone. They both also have the option to download PDFs if you'd like to read when you're not online. You'll then see a list of assignments that you'll need to complete in this module. So although you may be tempted to click through here and look at these, you'll want to keep moving sequentially through the module because every item requires you to view or submit to the previous item. This is because the lessons build upon each other and if you don't complete one item, you might not have the information you need to complete the next item. You'll also note here that um, for fun, I've given you a music video every week that relates to the content that we'll be covering. So the first thing you, that you, you will see after the lesson plan in every module is that every module has an influencer. And these are notable people who have influenced the materials that we are covering in that module. For example, Newton Minow, former FCC chairman, is our first influencer in the beginning module. And this module um, and these influencer items will contain videos that I want you to watch to Minow. better familiarize yourself with the content and with the influencer. There's nothing you need to submit on these, although these materials could come up later in quizzes, extra credits, or assignments. The next thing you'll see on every module is a quiz, and these reading quizzes do cover readings as well as um, anything else that's provided to you here. I always like to tell you the materials that will be tested on these modules. And it gives you a little chart here, which is going to become familiar to you because this is included for every quiz, for every discussion, for every assignment that you'll complete in the class. And what you'll see in this guide is your learning objectives, any prerequisites to complete this assignment, um, step-by-step -step instructions on how to complete the assignment, how it's graded and how it affects your overall course grade, any technical help that you might need, privacy, who can see this and who cannot. It'll do a brief review of the late submission policy, let you know if you can skip this without grade penalty, and then finally link you to the FAQ reports and find and edit your three course communications. So to take the quiz, you'll just come through here and you can see as test student, I've already taken the quiz, but you will go ahead and complete that first quiz. Now note that all quizzes are open book, open notes. You can take the quizzes as many times as you need to to score as high of a score as you want, but to move forward in the module, you will need to score at least 70% on the quiz. The only thing you can't do with these quizzes is have someone else help you. Now, after every quiz is a text discussion, and in this first text discussion, you are going to be asked to create a 24-hour media log, and it has the instructions, and again, that familiar chart with details about the assignment, and I provided for this one a sample submission of what that should look like. After you've completed the text discussion, you'll be asked to do a video discussion. And this one you're going to explain in a speech, theoretically pretend before Congress, the concept of a vast wasteland that we covered 
earlier from the influencer Newton Minow. And you're going to record these using that Canvas media upload again so that we can see and hear your contribution. Finally, every module has extra credit. In this one, you're going to review an old episode of Leave It to Beaver, and you are going to use that to discuss the relationship between media, society, and culture. If you click, keep clicking forward, you'll note that this takes you to our first project. And you can again see how this looks all together. If you have clicked through all of these, you will see that you have completed them in these modules. So I present this to you early, our first project, although it's not due until June 30th. It has been broken down into four individual parts, which are bite-sized chunks that you can use so that you don't have to complete a large project creation all at once. Again, you do not have to look at this, but I encourage you to look at that as the prerequisite for the next module, Modernity, is that you have submitted and completed the work in the beginning module. And this goes on throughout the course. When you see modules that are um, grayed out like this, that means that you've not yet completed the prerequisite course or coursework in the previous module, so that's not available to you. Something that you read about in the syllabus and something that I'd like to explain a little bit more to you is when you um, miss a deadline in our course and you submit late, 2% is deducted for each day that your submission is late, down to 50%. And this is all leading up to the end of two late submission periods. The first one covers the modules up until the print module in the course. And the deadline for that work is June 30th. What that means is that you can submit any of these assignments past their deadline for up to 50% credit as of June 30th. Now, if you submit them, say, two, or two days late, um, only a 4% late penalty would be applied. But note that there is not the same late submission time period for all assignments because all of these assignments with different due dates all close out on June 30th, and at that time the assignments lock and you'll be no longer able to submit to them. There is another late submission period that covers the next modules up through cultivation, and it ends July 20th. Now I've put in here um, information about each of your projects, both when you should begin working on them and when they are due. So you remember I showed you where project one began at the start of the course. This is a module that comes about a week before it is due. And when you wrap that up, you get an overview of the second project. And then we have the remaining modules in the course. So how do you see your grades in the course? You click on grades here in the left menu bar. And something I'd like to show you is you need to click show all details. And this allows you to see comments I've made to you on the assignment. For example, if there was a problem with the embedding of your video recording, um, I would let you know that. And you can also see when we have rubric, rics, look, rubrics, how you've scored on the rubrics. It's really important that for these assignments you look at the rubrics and I'm going to show you how to do that now because this is how you decide exactly how you will be graded. So for example on the media log if you click on this and you scroll to the bottom whoops you click show rubric rather it gives you a rubric that shows you where each of the points in this assignment come from and what merits a full point award for that rubric criteria, um, what is minimal, what does not meet it. And so it's really important that you review those so that you are well aware of how you are being graded. And every assignment, including extra credit in our class, has that. Now, there is a lot of extra credit in our class. You'll note in the syllabus that it is capped at 10%, meaning no more than 10% or 10 points in our case will be added to your final grade. 
Finishing up here on the syllabus, you'll want to take a look at this as there is a lot of information in here about our course policies, how your grade is determined, um, as well as a guide with links to all of the assignments in the class. Now again, remember you'll want to use modules to navigate this because if you try to click on something that you've not yet unlocked, it might not open. It also gives you more information on late submissions as well as resources available to you as a student. So that is our course walkthrough. I encourage you to let me know if you have any difficulties in navigating the course by posting to the FAQ where everyone can benefit from my response. If you have a personal issue, again, reports. And if you find a mistake, please let me know and find an edit. This is Dr. Sunny. I'm looking forward to a fun semester.